welcome to this new Photoshop tutorial. My name is Michael Novello from visualpixels.com and today I'm going to show you how you can do this cool graffiti-like um, color splash background. Um, yeah, it's pretty easy, easy to do and it looks really really cool. Um, if you like this video you can subscribe my channel Go to our website, do whatever you want, give me some comments, give me your advice, it's, uh, it's all welcome. Um, yeah, let's right, jump into the tutorial and i show you how it is done. Now we are in Photoshop and first thing we do, we create a new file. 1920 to 1080 resolution 72 and I want a white background here and then I'm going to add a text layer here with the Amsterdam graffiti regular type and you can get this at fontzone.net and uh, later you use splatter brushes you can just go into the search of google splatter brush and there you will find a bunch of links where you can download splatter brushes for free i prefer Deviant art but it's up to you you can use brushes or um, there are other qbrushes.net or something else they provide all really good brushes and they are for free. Most of them are for free. So, let's create the words. I want to create visual pixels. And now it's white, but I want black. So I changed the color here, black. And I'm going to it's a little bit larger, something like, like that, that's okay. And then I'm going to add a new layer here. And with the control key and uh, click on the layer, uh, on the text layer, sorry, I select the text here. And in the layer here, I'm going to fill it with a gradient. I'm going to the paint bucket tool here and I choose gradient tool. And for the foreground, I want an, a bright orange color. And for the background, I want a darker one. So I'm going to choose that color here and just lower it to the reds and go darker, something like that. And then with the gradient tool and shift, I can create a gradient which goes from the bright orange color to the dark orange color, something like that. And the next step is to create a new layer, but this time I want the layer not above, I want it between the text layer and the new layer on the, the Visual Pixels painted layer. Um, I go to Visual Pixels text layer and click new layer. Then under select I'm going to modify and expand and I expand it by 10 pixels because I've done this uh, before there are 10 pixels just in there and I click OK. And then I'm going to switch to the normal color uh, to black and white back and black I'm going to paint bucket I'm going to fill that layer here and as you can see now we have this cool looking letters here they are outlined and we have a color gradient here and the next step I'm going to the background layer and I create a new layer here. 
and then with the brush tool I'm going to select one of these splatter brushes here and maybe I come smaller here something like that and we can use a color here let's create a blue one well, cool blue something like that and we just click here and we have this splatter here and then another splatter going to use this one and me maybe this time I'm using something green something like that should be cool and so on and so on this means I'm going to use different different splitters here to build up my background I'm going with red something like that and then I'm going to rotate this a little bit and let's choose another color maybe magenta this time and let's make it a little bit bigger here on the edge something like that another that's that's a cool one let's just behind here was another color, maybe this time yellow. And because I want don't want to over to fill that here over the over this red and blue one, I'm going here to the background and I create a new layer and then I'm clicking. So the yellow one is in the back. And this with this method you can layer up uh, different colors and yeah you can lay out this the right way now I'm going to use another one maybe this one here and I want it uh, red again or something orange here maybe this one and just click here and maybe in the, on the top that's another color maybe we can use again green and I'm going to use yeah this one looks cool and let's add it here take like that yeah it's looking really really cool yeah and that's nearly about that but we need uh, something else uh, we need uh, now we need um, some layer styles first I'm going to add a shadow to the text layer here and I want to have the size a little bit bigger and spread Let's see something like that be, should be visible maybe like this now just looking really cool and to give the color here this letters a little bit of a 3d look I'm going to add um, bevel and bows um, but not too strong this time let's to like 70 percent or something like that and a little bit higher with the thighs something like that that's really looking cool and we copy this effect by clicking the alt key holding down the alt key and just click on the effect and move it to the other layers now we have on all layers we have this 3d look here and to get a little bit more life into the letters here I'm going to add another layer on top I'm going with the fill bucket and I want 50% gray here something like that I fill it 
and then I go to soft light and now I'm going to use the burn tool here and then I'm going to burn here a little bit on the on the letters here I'm going to make it a little bit flaky a little bit of a dirt look maybe I can rotate this here and this way this way and if you want that it's that is method is not affecting the other stuff here you can just click with the control key on your text layer again and then it's only affecting the, the orange gradient here so, darker you can if you choose to burn touch and burn tool to burn tool you can touch and burn by can switch between them by clicking the alt key you can darken it by holding down the alt key lighten it up just using the tool like it is without the alt key and this method we can give it a little bit of a life okay that's it and if you finished you've got something like that This is my outcoming of my first try here and it looks really really cool. Okay, that's it. That is how you create a graffiti styled text. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching and um, if you like the video please subscribe my channel. Give me a thumbs up, leave a comment or advice or critique, it doesn't matter. All of this stuff helps me to improve myself. And in the next few days I will um, show you what you can do like here in the background with a texture like this. And yeah, maybe we'll see there's there in my Blender channel. So, yeah, like I said, subscribe, give me comments and this stuff, and visit my other channels, my Blender channel, my Photoshop channel, and my Cinema 3D channel. See you next time. Bye.
Shalom. Shalom.